This week, we're going to be looking at what governments actually do to try and tackle inequality. Specifically, we're going to be looking at what the UK and the Scottish governments do. We've now covered a whole number of different inequalities. We've looked at the different health inequalities, we've looked at the different wealth inequalities, and we've also looked at how inequalities affect a particular group in society, BAME communities. So now we're going to move on and we're going to think about, well, how does the government actually try and deal with these inequalities? Even the most individualist of governments agree that some measures need to be taken to address inequalities. And in Scotland, obviously, we have two different governments uh, trying to make a difference about inequality. We have the Scottish government based in Holyrood and the UK government based in Westminster. Most things to do with inequality are actually controlled by the Scottish government. Remember, those powers have been devolved to the Scottish uh, government. But there are still a, spe a specific number of powers that have been reserved by the UK government, in particular powers around social security and benefits. And we'll talk a bit more about that later. The UK government is much more individualistic than the Scottish government at the moment and has been for quite some time now. Remember, at the moment, the UK government is a conservative government. The conservatives are very individualistic. They tend to think that the best way out of poverty is for people to be working, and they tend to think that businesses should pay people more rather than the state providing support for people. So they try to um, reduce taxes on companies so that companies can hire people and spend their money on wages. And they, in order to fund this, they reduce the state spending, they reduce benefits largely. So they say the government should be giving people less to encourage them to get into work and um, then companies should be paying them more because they've got more money to spend because they're paying less tax. Also, the government should be taking less money away from people in the form of tax. This idea of really drastically cutting spending, um, cutting state spending on things like benefits, but also services um, like uh, supporting disabled people, libraries, uh, local uh, leisure facilities, all of that stuff. Um, this has become known as austerity. The UK government has become an austerity government that is cutting, ta cutting taxes and cutting services to pay for it. The current Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has said he wants an end to austerity and at the moment the government is spending a huge amount of money on uh, re coronavirus recovery in terms of uh, the furlough scheme where people, where employers are paid to keep people on the payroll by the government uh, in terms of a, a, an increase to universal credit, which we'll talk more about later, um, and all sorts of grants, etc. But that will need to come to an end at some point or it will need to be paid for by tax rises. And the likelihood is that this gov Conservative government is gonna choose cutting things over increasing taxes. The Scottish government is more collectivist. They want the government to do more to meet the needs of its population. They want to provide more social security, more of a safety net for people. Um, but in order to do that, they need to spend more money, which means they will probably need to keep taxes higher currently there's not a huge amount of difference between the taxes that people pay in Scotland and England, but people in Scotland do pay a little bit more income tax at the top end of the wealth scale. There are other organisations involved in reducing inequalities, like private companies, there's sector organisations, so that's things like charities, food banks, they're not run by the government, but they're also not trying to make a profit. Um, and But in this unit, we're going to focus on government measures, because that's what the SQA will ask you about. The exam questions could be things around um, asking how effective uh, government measures are. So that's something we really need to understand, do they, not just what they are, but do they work? They could be about what the, what the measures actually are. It could ask you to compare measures, um, but it, it can specifically ask you about measures related to benefits, measures related to housing, measures related to health, and measures related to education. So what we've done is we've given you one specific measure that the government's taken for each one of those. 